I've used this area most often, and uh, I have. I'm making sure it's right for you all. And I've had a few speeding tickets, and, and you know, so we help you out with these moving traffic violations. And if you have kids, look, this service protects your children too, up to the age of 23, if they're full time in college, 21, if they're still living at home, never married, 18, if, they, if you're the legal guardian of that child, and physically and mentally challenged children, regardless of age, living at home, all, all under this one membership. And I bring that up because my oldest son drives. We bought him a brand new Camaro a couple of years ago for Christmas. His insurance is no joke for all our parents out there. His insurance costs more than my wife and I combined. So we certainly didn't want him to get any points on his license so that his insurance would go up higher. Well, unfortunately, he got a couple of speeding tickets. And um, we had legal seal assist him, and all those points were removed so his insurance didn't go up. Now, I've even received a speeding ticket going to see my mom, who lives in Virginia, and didn't have to go back to Virginia. I called my firm in Maryland. They called the firm in Virginia. They sent a lawyer out to go represent me. My points were dropped and my fine was dropped. That saved me time and money. If you own a business, your time is money, right? If you have, if you have a job, you don't want to take time off. Look, I would have spent more money in gas to drive back down to the speed and to where the, the, the court, uh, the, where the trial would have been. And so again, it just makes sense to have access to something like this. It saves you time and money, okay? <laughs> By the way, even if you're a lawyer in the room, this is great. I have buddies that are lawyers, and they said, look, I love this because not every lawyer knows every area of law, like every doctor doesn't know every area of medicine. So my buddies are prosecuting. They said, look, the reason why I love Legal Seal is because my family members call me all the time asking me legal questions I can't answer. <laughs> number two, they want me to do it for free. <laughs> right? He says, number three, I've always wanted to refer them somewhere to say, look, but I didn't know where to refer them, where they could afford it to go. But now I have somewhere to send people who I care about, who I want to help, but can't help, but now I know someone who can help them. Wow. All through legal shield. Make sense, everybody? In the lawsuit, you get pre-trial and trial hours. We'll talk about that in a second because people are suing people for anything nowadays. Even if you're innocent, you've got to show up to prove that you're innocent or there's a bench warrant out for your arrest. 24-hour uh, access in emergency situations because things happen outside of office hours, yes? Yeah. yeah, you're being questioned, detained, or arrested. You have a right to remain silent and a right to a lawyer. That's our Miranda, right? I love living in the United States of America. We have a constitution here to protect our rights. But what good is it being proud of a constitution we can't afford access to? It's like not having one. And so these situations happen all the time. I was in South Carolina, I'll tell you a quick story. And um, after this meeting, uh, we went out and ate. We call it the meeting after meeting. Sometimes we hang out in fellowship. So we're at this Mexican restaurant. The gentleman sitting across the table for me, from me, he says, uh, I'd like to share my story. And I said, sure. He said, uh, my, my, my son was playing out in the backyard on a trampoline, fell off, got seriously hurt, and we rushed him to the hospital because he wouldn't stop crying. And he says, when we got there in the emergency area, in the trauma area with all the little curtains, and he said, different people kept coming back to take a look at my son. So he said, my wife says, can you ask why so many different people have to come take a look at our son? So, so he said, the next person that came back, he says, I'm sorry, can I ask why so many separate people keep coming back to take a look at my son? And he said, the person said at that point, I'm, I apologize, sir. This looks like it could be a case of child abuse. We have to ask you some further questions. And he said he couldn't believe it because he knew he didn't do anything, but how was he going to prove this? And so he, said, he said he got so upset. His wife says, would you calm down? They're already accusing you of abuse. Not the time to be upset. <laughs> <laughs> but he wasn't thinking. And so he says he calmed down. The, he walked out the trauma area. This is walked down a little hospital hallway to think. And he says, he said, Mr. So, I wasn't even thinking about legal seal. Do you know you can be so emotional at some point, you forget you have legal seal? Yeah. He had just gotten it. So he said, I wasn't even thinking about legal seal. He said, but a few minutes went by, he was thinking, God, what am I going to do? He remembered he had his legal seal card. And by the way, some of you have, it says, if you're being questioned, detained, or arrested, please allow me to call my lawyer immediately, which is your right. Okay. So he, he picks up the phone, uh, dials the 1-800 number, puts on the back of that card in emergency situations, uh, and got in touch with the senior partner of the law firm in South Carolina. This is a Saturday night. And so he's able to get in touch with that lawyer. The lawyer asked him a bunch of questions. What hospital are you in? What happened? Have they asked you any questions yet? Have you answered? That type of thing. He says, go back, sit with your wife and your son. Don't say anything to anybody. I'm going to call the hospital. He said he went back and sat with his wife and his son. About 10 minutes or so went back, and a gentleman came down with a suit on, explained, in, introduced himself as, uh, as a gentleman from the administrative offices of the hospital. He said, Mr. and Mrs. Stevens, we heard from your lawyer. Uh, we want to apologize. I'm not really sure why this story turned in this direction, but we're going to treat your son. We're going to take him. He said, everything shifted in that environment. He said, this is the case. He said, he said, but here's the powerful part of the story. He said, my co-worker told me about legal shield for three weeks in a row. He said, the first week I told him, he said, well, let me think about it and talk to my wife about it. He said, then he came back and said, well, let me get paid. Hold on to talk to me next week. And he said, it was his third week that he says, you know what, I'm ready. He said, I couldn't help but to think at that moment 
What if I told my coworker, give me one more week? He said, where would they have taken my son that night? And where would they have taken me that night? He said, my wife would have been by herself sitting in our emergency room if it wasn't for legal shield. He said, this is more than just access to lawyers. This is access to peace of mind. And that's what we all have access to. So get that in your 24 hour, I'm sorry, your 25% preferred member discount. Anything that falls outside of the 100% coverage, which I enjoy because I like discounts. Now, how much money you make is how much money you keep. Yes. Right? I shop low end like Target. I shop high end like Neiman Marcus, but I like a discount no matter where I go. Right. Everybody with me? Yeah. Hotel, I'm always, hey, can I get a discount? <laughs> Rent a car, can I get I'm a, I'm a, I like discounts. It's, liquidity is king. <laughs> well, I have friends that make $200,000 a year, but if they spend $300,000, they just broke out of higher level. <laughs> I'm trying to help them. Nice house, dude. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right? They don't go on vacation. They go on staycation. You know what I'm talking about. They just stay at home. <laughs> anyway, so you get all these different areas. And, and the, 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 here's my point in saying this, because we try to do this in a, in a short period of time. There's a lot of things we're not even going over today that you can use these services for. And it makes sense. All the things you already spend your money on, use the services to protect those things. For example, you spend your money on auto insurance anyway. And what happens when an auto insurance company says, I'm sorry, the police report didn't say A, B, and C. We can't really help you out right now. Uh, what do you do? Who do you call? Your life insurance? No, but you can call your lawyer. What happens to the life insurance policy says, I'm sorry, we can't help you out. The death certificate didn't say A, B, and C. And I've seen this happen. Families are already suffering emotionally, now they're suffering financially. Yeah. Who do you call your auto insurance, your health insurance, or you call your lawyer? Mm -hmm. See, a lawyer protects you for all the things you already spend your money on. Yeah. So it makes sense when we're paying for those services and really don't want to use those services. God knows. I don't want to use my auto insurance because I gotta bang up my car. I don't use my health insurance, I gotta get it sick. I gotta get sick. I don't use my life insurance. You know what has to happen, right? <laughs> <laughs> so keep that for a minute. Keep that for a minute. Okay. <laughs> Just trying to help each other. <laughs> I didn't think that. It's the second service that we provide. We only offer two services. One, uh, a legal plan, a life events legal plan. Uh, two, uh, we offer an identity theft shield to assist us with the fast growing crime. Number one consumer complaint category in America. Number one, not number two, number three. Number one. And the scary part about identity theft is most folks don't even know when they've been a victim. Like they live with it for years. Like the Veterans Administration, 26 million veterans lost their information from one laptop. TJ Maxx Marshall Corporation, almost 100 million. The Sony PlayStation fiasco, 102 or so million people lost the information from one data breach, mostly children. So they're nine years old, and victim of identity theft won't know it until they're 19 or so. So it's a scary situation. And so, you know, you know credit, credit card fraud, uh, social security fraud, driver's license fraud. And the reason why our services work so well it's, just, it's good to have access to a lawyer in this situation as well. The FTC says if you have an identity theft situation, you now have a legal situation. Why? Because there's possible arrest for crimes committed by the identity thief that you can face. So you didn't even do it, but yet you're facing this crime. So call your bank on that. So I had that on my bank card. Well, if you're being arrested for something you didn't do, call your bank. That's not going to happen. But you can have access to your lawyer. That's why these services marry well together. Does that make sense to everybody? So it makes sense here. Look, I, I'll tell you a quick story. I know I got a lot of stories, because I've been around for 14 years, so I kind of grew up in legal shit in my 20s. I can't believe it. Anyway, so look, here's the deal. <laughs> People used to say when I first joined legal shit, you remind me of my son. Now they say, you remind me of my dad. I'm like, oh! <laughs> you nothing. Anyway, she's like, my wife thinks that's funny when they come to me. You remind me of your, my dad. She's like, oh, you get old. Anyway, so <laughs> here's the deal. I did this presentation uh, at the Pentagon. This was about 10 years ago. So, maybe a little less than that. And a uh, 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 captain there said, I'd like to share my story. And this is when we first came out with our identity theft product. Then he says, my own brother-in-law got a job in my name to avoid child support. Mm -hmm. oh and never paid taxes on that. He said, I lost my security clearance for something I didn't even do. Wow. And he said, I had to fight to get it back. But you know, most folks don't know how to fight to get it back. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to write the credit repositories, you know, what to do. And so that's why we connected with a company called Crow. So you don't have to do this yourself. See, even though I'm here marketing this for Maryland, I don't provide the service. Trust me, you don't want me to provide legal services for you. Right? Remember, seven year bachelor's degree. It'll have been about a decade for a law degree, okay? So I don't do that. I'm just a liaison. I'm the connector, if you will, between those who need the service and those who can provide, and I put them together. This is why you don't have to look. You can have a GED or a PhD. It doesn't matter because we've got professionals that go out and do this for you. So they're going to do the credit monitoring with activity alerts, not me. They're going to uh, provide credit report with score analysis. In fact, they're going to go out and restore your services for you. That, that means they're going to restore your identity back to where it was. 
This is huge. This is the reason why we're one of the hottest benefits in America today, because employers are tired of employees taking time off, trying to handle situations they're not even proficient in. But with the limited power of attorney, these investigators are going as you or with you to restore your identity for you while the employer still gets production hours out of their employees. So we, ha we happen to uh, decrease absenteeism and increase productivity, all because we have access to a service like this we can offer as a benefit. Huge for employers, or if you know, a human resource director. Okay, so we're able to do that. And again, I love this service because uh, we're the number one. We use the number one company in the world, Crow. If you ever had a federal background check done? We use Crow. So, and yeah, look, 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 think about this. If you want someone helping you out with your identity, do you want number two, number three, number four, number 60, or number one? You want number one. And that's who we use. So it's not like people say, well, let me see if I can go check with somebody else. Number one. Do your research. Okay, good. All right. So, 